Good morning, boys and girls. Let's get ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 81. The materials you'll need for today's lesson is Worksheet 81, Spelling List 14, and a pencil. Okay, the standard for the lesson says that the student will know and apply grade level phonics and word analysis skills in decoding. The student will know the spelling sound correspondences for common consonant digraphs. The student will know final E and common E vowel team conventions for uh, common consonant digraphs. And, oh, excuse me. The student will know final E, which is sneaky E, and common vowel team conventions for representing long vowel sounds. The student will use knowledge that every syllable must have a vowel sound to determine the number of syllables in a printed word. And the student will decode two syllable words following basic patterns by breaking the words into syllables. We're going to mostly work on this today. Okay, our essential question, how do I show that I know and can use grade level phonics and word analysis skills in decoding words? All right, let's go over the rules. Say them with me. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Cut it with a brief. An open accent of vowel is long. Code it with a macron. Here's our syllable division chart for the VCCB pattern. If you have two vowels and they're kind of spread out in the word, you under, um, you under each vowel you write a V. Look between them. If you have two consonants, put two Cs. Divide it between the consonants and that gives you each syllable of the word. A vowel followed by a consonant and sneaky E is long. Code the vowel with a macron and mark out sneaky E. A digraph is two letters that come together to make one sound. All right, when we're spelling using the letters K and C, we use K before E, I, or Y for the K sound. For the K sound, we use C before A, O, U, or any consonant. When we're spelling k at the end of a word, we use digraph ck after a short vowel. Plain old k comes after a consonant or a vowel digraph. Ke comes after a long vowel so that we have sneaky e. And plain old c comes at the end of a word that's got two or more syllables. When we're spelling a word that ends with the v sound, we use ve. English words don't end with the letter v. Our floss rule. When a one-syllable root word has a short vowel sound followed by the sound f, l, or s, we use twin consonants to spell f, l, or s. Okay? And to spell the s sound at the end of a word, we use ss after a short vowel. That goes back to the floss rule because all of these are floss words. Boss, dress, and fuss. We use CE if it comes after a long vowel, as in ice, space, truce. We use SE if it comes after anything else. Okay, let's stop right there and do our decks. And then we'll move on to that next slide. Let me get set here. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Do it with me. Digraph O W. Oops. Combination U R. Combination I R. Combination Q U. Q. Combination O R. Digraph C H. Combination A R. Digraph A Y. Digraph A I. Trigraph I G H. Combination E R. Vowel Y. Final stable syllable T L E. Final stable syllable G L E. Final stable syllable F L E. Final stable syllable P L E. Final stable syllable D L E. Final stable syllable B L E. V. J. Digraph O O. 
digraph SH. Y. X. I consonant E. E consonant E. O consonant E. U consonant E. A consonant E. W. U. Digraph E E. Digraph N G. Digraph T H. Digraph C K. E. M. C. K. R. G. H. D. T. P. S. L. O. I. N. Z. A. B. F. Now let's do keywords. Butter-er. Turtle-er. Bird-er. Quilt. Qu horse or star R bottle tool bugle gull ruffle full staple pull candle dull bubble bull vest v, jar j hook u uh, tooth u shark sh yarn y Fox, x, wagon, w, umbrella, uh, unicorn, u, cube, u, ring, m, mm, thimble, th, feather, th, fish, f, elephant, e, eh, candy, e, equal, e, concrete, e. Get my next stack. Sheep, e, monkey, m, mm, balloon, b, kite, k, cat, k, duck, k, dog, d, sun, s, circle, s, rose, z, zebra, z, rabbit, r, goat, g, cheese. Hat, inch, i, light, i, dime, i, icicle, i, cry, i, overalls, o, hose, o, bow, o, octopus, ah, hay, a, acorn, a, cake, a, rain, a. Apple, a, tent, t, nest, n, pig, p, lion, w, suffix s. We add it to a word to make it mean more than one. Suffix ing. We add it to a word to make it mean something that's happening right now. Suffix ed. We add it to a word to make it mean something that's already happened. Suffix y, suffix less, suffix ness, suffix lee, sight words, I, come, some, friend, the, said, who, into, do, to, you, your, color, what, from, are, of, there, there, does, goes, been, put, want, was, where, to, done, one, sure, won't, don't, brought, thought, thought, Bought, would, could, should, school, says, give, have, live, they, people, love, move, many, 
any other another brother mother only something answer were early earth heard learn word work world once okay now then let's take out our worksheet and put our pencil on number one let me skip on over to it there we go okay number one echo bull what's the spelling response for bull Final stable syllable B L E. Number two, echo. Z. What's the spelling response for Z? Z final Z E. Number three, echo, I, I, what's the spelling response for I? I consonant E, comma, I, final Y. Number four, echo, A, what's the spelling response for A? A consonant E, comma, A, Final digraph A Y. Number five, echo O. What's the spelling response for O? O consonant E, comma O. Let me see if I scoot it over. Final digraph O W. Number six, echo OR. What says OR? Combination O R. Number seven. What says combination? Q U. Number eight. J. What's the spelling response for J? J. Number nine. Echo. What's the spelling response for S? S comma C final S S comma S E comma C E. Remember, these go back to. Whoops, I went right by it. Right here, S S after a short vowel, C E after a long vowel, S E after anything else. Okay, number ten. Echo. Ch what says ch? Digraph ch. All right, number 11. Let's spell the word show. What is your favorite TV show? All right, at the beginning we have a digraph. Sh. And then we hear o at the end. So it's going to be digraph o w. Show. Number 12. Yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I have three favorite colors. Y. L. O. Yellow. Y E L L O W. All right. Touch your pencils down and let's echo these words. Let me put mine down. Echo wafer. Gravy. Wafer. Gravy. What do you hear that's the same in both of those words? What's the sound that's the same in both words? They both say A. All right, here are the words. Wafer, gravy. Now, we need to code these words. So let's see if we can figure that out. Whenever we code, what do we always do first? We always look for a suffix or a final stable syllable. Do we have a suffix? Or a final stable syllable. Mm -mm. Okay. 
So is there any obvious coding? That means like digraphs and combinations. Yes, we have combination ER. So we put an arc under it. All right, but now, uh, how many vowels do you see in that word? Here's a vowel and here's a vowel. Well, there's a, it's, they're not beside each other like a digraph. So that means this word's going to have two syllables. Let me say the word and let's clap it. Wafer. Wafer. Two syllables. So we've got to do a syllable division on this uh, word. But, so let's just put a V under the vowel, a V under this vowel. Normally, we look between it and there are two consonants, aren't there? But how many consonants do we have this time? Only one. So label it. Now, that's not a VCCV pattern. Normally, that's what we have, that's what we've been doing is a VCCV pattern. And you divide it between the consonants. This time is called a VCV pattern. And what we're going to do now is divide the word. But where do I do it? Most of the time when you have a VCV pattern, you divide it after the first vowel. So we're going to divide it right there. All right, and so then that makes this open and accented. Now let's look at the word. A, er, wafer. All right, let's look at this one. Does it have a suffix or final stable syllable? Mm -mm. No, it doesn't. But, let's clap the word. It's gravy. Gravy. Two syllables. Well, this is acting like a what? It's not a suffix Y. It's acting like a vowel. So we're going to put a dot up there. All right? Here's a vowel, and this one's acting like a vowel. And there's only one consonant in between it. So we're going to divide it after the first consonant. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is, um, excuse me. What we're going to do next is look at this. All right. Now this is open. So that means it's long. Put a macron up there. Sound out the word grr, a, v, gravy. You like gravy? I do. That's good. Okay, let's move on. So this is a new syllable division chart. And on this chart, we can see that the pattern is not a VCCV, it's a VCV pattern. All right? Look at that word. The word is baby. Baby. All right? It has, this is a vowel, this is acting like a vowel, and then you look between it, there's only one consonant. Divide it after the first vowel, then you code the vowel with a macron, and that one you don't have to do anything to. Baby. And the accent usually goes on the first syllable. Not all the time, but most of the time. If you put the syllable, the accent here, it would be baby. We don't say, oh, what a cute baby. We say, oh, what a cute baby. So the accent goes on that syllable. All right. Now we're going to code a couple of phrases. All right. Let's look at the first word. I see a suffix, and we're going to put the suffix in the box. We're going to underline digraph CH. We're going to put an arc under combination UR, and then we're going to read this word. Read it with me. Churned. Churned. All right, this is digraph TH, and then you're going to put a schwa up here over the E. And what's that word? The. Churned the. All right, this is a, you're going to need a voice line. All right. Now let's do this word. Does it have a suffix or a final stable syllable? No, it does not. But I see um, two vowels that are spread out, so I'm going to label them. I'm going to look between them and label the consonants. I'm going to divide it between there. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Cut it with a brie. 
And then I'm going to come over here and put an arc under combination ER. Sound it out. B butter. Butter. Churned the butter. Have you ever churned any butter? I haven't. All right, let's do this one. All right, this word has a suffix on the end, so we're going to put it in the box. All right, ooh. Let's look at this word. It's got a vowel here and a vowel here, but look, that's A consonant E, so this one's going to be a sneaky E. All right, this is a consonant, so we got a VCV pattern. Divide it after the first vowel. That means this is going to be open. We put a macron over it. Put a K back here. Put a macron over that. Vacates. Vacates. If you vacate something, you leave it. All right, here's the word the again. Underline digraph TH. Put a voice line and then put a schwa over the E. This is a compound word. Divide it between the two words. K back. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Cut it with a brief. Mark out the last twin consonant. Underline digraph O O. Read the word. Class. Class. Room. Classroom. Vacates the classroom. All right, let's see about this one. There's a vowel. There's a vowel. Consonant, consonant. Divide it between the two consonants. All right, when C comes before E, it says S. So we gotta put a cedilla. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Coat it with a brief. Put an arc under combination ER. Sound it out. Center. Center. Vacates the classroom center. Okay? All right, now, these are nonsense words, but we're going to code these nonsense words just so that we can practice the VCV pattern, okay? Let's, um, first of all, I see a suffix ED on the end, so I put that in the box. All right, here's a vowel, here's a vowel, here's a consonant. Where do I divide it? After the first vowel. Right there. Underline digraph CH. That's going to be open. And so you put a macron over that. We said we usually put the accent mark on the first syllable. We have a VCV pattern. We're going to put an arc under combination ER. Now, let's see if we can say this word. Ch a ch a b bert bert ch a bert and it's already happened. Chaberted. Chaberted. See, we can still code the word and read it the way it should be read, even though it's a nonsense word. Let's do this one. All right, this one has a suffix. All right. And um, here's a vowel. Here's a vowel. Here's a consonant. Divide it after the first vowel. This is going to be open, so that gets a macron over it. And this is going to be a vowel followed by a consonant is short, coat with a breed. Let's sound it out. Flay, flay, mail, flay, mail, ness, flay, mail, ness. Okay? That is our no other nonsense word. All right. Let's write that down so I can turn the page. Let's go back to our paper. Number 13. Let's spell the word baby. Baby. Now, the words that we're going to spell right here have the VCV pattern. Baby. B. A. B. E. Baby. Now, if you did this word, if this is what you wrote, that becomes a sneaky E word, and that word is babe. We don't hear the E. So that's why baby is spelled like that. Baby. Okay. Number 14, the word is paper. Always put your name on your paper. Let's sound it out. P A. P er. Two letters say er. Paper. P 
P-A-P-E-R, paper. And the next one, navy. Navy. Navy is a color. And it's also a branch of the military. Navy. Navy is a dark, dark blue. All right, let's sound it out. N-A-V-E. Now, a lot of words that have two syllables, and you hear the E on the end, the last letter is going to be a Y. The Y says E. My first name. Now, look right here. I use C because it comes before I. It says C-I-N-D-Y on the end. Let's clap it and see how many syllables. Cindy. That's two syllables. When you hear two, uh, when you hear E at the end of a word that's got two syllables, lots of times it's going to use the letter Y, like it did right here and with baby. So remember that. That's a good thing to remember. Okay, now let's code some words. Number 16. These first five words are going to use, now what this is, up here it says we're coding words that have uh, a VCC, a VCV pattern with A in the first syllable, okay? A long A sound in the first syllable. Okay, let's do it. V, V, and in the middle is the consonant. So we've got a VCV pattern. Divide it between the two syllables after the first vowel. Put a macron over the A and put a dot over the Y because it's acting like an E. Lady. Did you see that lady? All right, I'm going to have to erase that because I'm going to be crowded for the next one. I'm going to probably going to erase it each time. All right, here's a vowel. The Y is acting like a vowel and the Z is our consonant. Divide it after the first vowel. Put a K back on the C, put a macron over the A, put a dot on the Y. Cr-A-Z. Crazy. All right. The next word. Here's a vowel, here's a vowel, here's a consonant. We have a VCV pattern. Divide it after the first vowel, put a macron over the A, Put a breathe over the I. The I is a, a vowel followed by a consonant, so it's short. Sound it out. B a basin. Basin. Do you know what a basin is? A sink. That's another word for sink. Okay. Alright, let's look at number 19. Alright, here's a vowel. Here's a vowel. Here's a consonant. Divide it after the first vowel. We're going to put an arc under combination ER. We're going to put a K back on the C and a macron over the A. Oh, and I forgot the accent mark. Cra crater crater. Oh, if you've ever watched any videos about the moon, there are craters on the moon. A crater is like a, a spot where you just dipped out the whatever's on the ground. Make a little hole. Crater. Alright, and then the next one. Alright, here's a vowel. Here's a vowel. Here's the consonant. Divide it after the first vowel. This is open, so we're going to put a macron over it and our accent mark. We're going to put a K back on the C and a breathe over the O because a vowel followed by a consonant is short. Coat it with a breathe. B a bacon. Oh, bacon. All right. Bacon, bacon, bacon. That's that commercial. That dog food commercial. Okay. For bacon strips. All right. You're going to code these words down here by yourself. Now, I see. Let me see what I see down here. Um, I see a word that has a VCCV pattern. I see a compound word, and I see a word with a suffix. Actually, Two of them have suffix. Okay. Do these. Practice. Let's go to the back. 
On the back, you're going to read a passage about Jill, and then you're going to answer the questions. Remember, go up there and underline the answer to number one, wherever it is, and then put a little one up there and put a circle around the one. Number two, read the question, go up there and find where the answer is, underline it, put a little two and circle it. Do the same thing for number three. This is where you are finding the evidence for your answer in the passage. All right, let's read the words in the high frequency word box. Read with me. Yellow, show, shown, friend, other, world. Okay? Now, take out your spelling list and we will do our spelling list. Fold your paper so you can't see the words. See, I've covered them up. So fold it like this where you can't see the words. All you can see is the blanks. Then when you're finished, you can open it back up to see how you did. And that'll show you what you already know. All right, number one. My. M I. My. Number two. Tell. Eh, oh, tell. Don't tell anybody how to spell it. Tell. T eh, oh. Number three. Her. 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 I saw her at the movies. Her. Number four. Soon. Ooh, mm, soon. Number five, shall. 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 Number six. All right, now, listen carefully. Stringy.